y'all probably clicked on this video because you're trying to find the best playmaking and shooting badges in the game and i got y'all you know what i'm saying make sure to drop a like if you haven't already because this video is about to be a banger you feel me but what's good with y'all man what's good it's your boy cj you know what i'm saying welcome back to another banger this is some heat right here this video we're going over the best playmaking and shooting badge setup you know what i'm saying but if you guys can do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button with the bell, we're on the road to 5k. I can't do it without y'all, to be honest. I'm not begging y'all to subscribe. But if you actually do enjoy the content here, you know what I'm saying? Just please be sure to subscribe. It helps my channel out so much. I, I always reply to comments too. So go ahead and comment section below. I will comment literally in like 10 seconds after you say this. Watch. Go, go try it. With that being said, man, we're about to go straight into it. You know what I'm saying? No hesitation. The best one to let y'all know, like this setup, bro, like as far as shooting wise, especially. I literally, like, I, once I changed this patch up to this, I promise you I had, like, four or five games going six for six, seven for seven from the field. It's crazy. Y'all can tune into my streams. I don't have a, I don't really have a schedule. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. What day would you guys prefer? You, let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, um, this is my shooting batch setup right here. I have 25 shooting, but I'm gonna go in for every single amount of shooting, pretty much. I'm gonna explain exactly why I use this batch setup right here and not, like, you know, other badges you would expect me to use, like, Hall of Fame volume and everything. Now, honestly, this is like the ideal perfect bash setup, you know what I'm saying? Um, you really can't go wrong with this, like, at all. Literally, like, you're not going to miss. I'm just telling you, you're going to make whites, you're going to make greens, you're just going to make every single shot in the game. Just just imagine the thought of not missing again. Like, it's, it's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? This this is the closest thing you will get to not missing a shot in NBA 2K20. I promise you, I promise you. I went to, you know, studying each badge and everything, and this is why I use this setup right here. I'm going to get straight into explanation. So Hall of Fame range is a must, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you get range extender on the max you can, I'm going to go into gold shooting in just a second, but I want to focus on Hall of Fame, you know what I'm saying? But I'll go range extender on the max, which is Hall of Fame for me, because, you know, extend your range. Like, range extender works for mid-ranges, threes, everything. Everything um, that is not in the paint is range extender. Come on, it speaks for itself. Like, y'all knew this, y'all knew this, though. You know what I'm saying? Next badge, Hall of Zone Hunter, have it on max. Hot Zone Hunter on max is the best way to go for Hot Zone Hunter because it, every single badge upgrade you have, it increases it by a good, like, 8%. The difference between no Hot Zone and Hot Zone is, like, 25, I'm pretty sure. I'm not I'm not actually too sure. I'm not entirely too sure. But the difference between no Hot Zone and Hall of Fame is severe. Just know that. It's very significant this year. And last year, too. But your my career hotspots are your park hotspots. I can make a hotspot video if you guys want. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to steer away from glitches. It's not really a glitch either. It's just a method. This next badge no one's about to tell you about, bro. Hot. Oh, my gosh. Hot start is an insane badge. Look, listen. I usually, I used to use Hall of Fame volume, right? But I was looking on 2K Labs. You guys are about to see on your screen right now. As you guys can see, the brown indicates the uh, bronze version. And the purple indicates the Hall of Fame. You guys see the difference between bronze and Hall of Fame, right? It's really not as much as it was last year. So you guys can see the shots taken and every time the badge goes up. Hall of Fame actually works better when it's um, you take like three shots, right? But imagine you had Green Machine and Hot Start on when you're greening, you know what I'm saying? And now look at the booster Hot Start. Y'all see it, 8% of a 93-point rating edge of the green window. And the center of a green window is 6.5%. Do you see the difference between Volume Shooter and Hot Start? You know what I'm saying? Hot Start is a way better badge than Volume Shooter. Mind you, if you, com if you combine the two... You're not going to miss. Simple. Can I get a like, please, if you haven't already? Because what YouTuber has told you this? Now, now to the other badges, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm going to always gas up Hot Star because that's my favorite badge right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I mean, obviously, besides Hot Zone and Range Extender. But, like, this is my favorite badge right now. I, I slept on it heavy. It's actually heavily slept on. No cap. Now, Green Machine, if you really thought Silver Green Machine worked last year, which it did, it works even like it's you don't even need green machine this year low-key you actually don't but i like the i like i just like having a boost to my shot anything i can do because i have 25 shooting i don't really have anything else to put it on steady shooter ne like neglects your shot um i don't really need clutch or corner specialist i'm already green without it you feel me i green anywhere in case you don't believe me i have proof right here that green machine doesn't do too much it only gives you like a what between bronze and hall of fame like a what three percent increase at most three percent four percent it's really not that much as you would think Next badge we're about to go to is the Deadeye badge. Now, Deadeye is very controversial. I don't actually think you need the badge that much. Like, you, I don't even make contested threes like that. I be seeing you, like, God Triller, but I be seeing you getting so many contested. I think that's sharp take two and then, like, merge. But, like, bro, like, I don't really see a Deadeye, a difference between it. I haven't really tried any lower than gold. Honestly, I haven't tried Hall of Fame this year. I've been, I've been on gold for a minute. 
But you know, um, Dead Eye like boosts your shop percentage between like late closeouts, so it's a very helpful badge. Now, flexible release because let's be real, we can't green every shot. You know what I'm saying? You probably green like a lot, most of your shots with this badge setup. But if you don't use flexible release, those whites won't be going in like that. You know what I'm saying? You, it happens to the best of us, bro. We do get whites, but you gotta understand that flexible release is actually a great badge this year. It was getting clown last year, no cap. But like this year, it took a one up. You feel me? But if you um, are not a guy who gets a lot of whites, you can go up like other badges like catch and shoot, difficult shots, things like those. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I'd be getting there be games like that, bro. I'd be getting some whites and I'd be selling the bag. Let's let's say if you're ever playing nervous. I mean, I I get nervous sometimes. You know what I mean? Like when you're trying to come back from like a low twos lead, like maybe like 19 to eight. You know, a lot of pressures on you, so you might white. But it's all good because flexible release got your back. Imagine pairing that with a hot start too. Oh my gosh! Now let's talk about difficult shots. You know what I'm saying? Um, now for me, I sometimes run um difficult shots Hall of Fame and flex release off. But if I you know um if I have like an off game, I like if I had a hot game like a you know game I was a little fifty, I put flex back on. But if I don't need it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would just go Hall of Fame difficult somehow, some way. Like I said, Green Machine is not that important this year. And Difficult Shots Hall of Fame actually boosts your shot percentage like crazy, no cap. But I feel like when you pair Hot Start with Silver Difficult Shots and Gold Flex, I, I green like the first off dribble I shoot because of the 8% increase like Difficult Shots would have, you know what I'm saying? So Hot Start really can cover any badge. Like real talk, it can cover um, Green Machine because your shot percentage lasts the whole game rather than having to green your first two shots. Hot Start lasts the whole game, like I'm saying. So, unless until you miss. But that's just to say that um, you don't really need some of these badges, you feel me? Now, we already talked about volume, so I'm going to talk about tireless real quick before we go into the playmaking badges. But tireless shooter, you know, you know, Ron, you know what Mike Wayne said, you know what I'm saying? That every time you, sh if you shoot when you're tired, you don't get like the highest percentage you could possibly get. But tireless shooter on bronze probably will, you know, fix that a little bit. It won't, it won't you know, at the end of the day, I use Hall, I used to use Hall and tireless shooter and just don't work like it used to. Hall and tireless score used to be like the best badge. But it's just not the same badge, you know what I'm saying? So I would definitely not rely on this badge Hall of Fame to, you know, make shots when you're tired because you don't want to be in situations when you're tired. You just want to dribble to your open and not over dribble, you know what I'm saying? So I rock tireless shooter on bronze because there do be occasions where you be tired and you have to force a shot up. Now this setup right here is from my, you know, gold shooters, my boys who got slashers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that build's really good. The offensive threat and the new offensive threat. You guys can tune into that video if you want. But listen, if y'all are gold shooters and everything, um, I would probably I'm trying to figure out how much about y'all got like 16, 17 shooting badges, 15 maybe. But I would definitely go with these four, at least on the max level, because the boost it gets. I don't know how much the boost that I is this year. I actually don't. But I know Green Machine's boost isn't that much. Hot start boost is like 8% and it's just crazy. You guys will be shooting like sharpshooters. Tell me I didn't put y'all on, man. I definitely put y'all boys on to this hot start wave. I'm trying to tell y'all, put it on and come, on, come back on this video and tell me how it goes. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm not hyping this badge up or nothing. It's just, it deserves the hype. It deserves the hype from me. If y'all are made to this point in the video, comment down below your favorite color. I'm curious, you know what I'm saying? And y'all know I respond to comments within like five seconds. So go ahead, comment down below and you guys will be responded to, I promise, A ASAP. Hey man, look, we gotta go into the playmaking badges though. Listen, this is what I use right now. Um, this is what I use for like on the threes. If I'm playing, I'm trying to win the game. You know what I'm saying? If you're really trying to win and your man's is kind of like 50, I would go something like that. But um, if you're trying to like, um, you're like the main ball handler. Let's say you're playing with the someone with the high three ball, like a stretch. I'd probably put uh, the floor general on stop and go or downhill. Reason being is because the 4% boost is really good, right? But if they already have jump shot boost, they don't need it. One, two, dimer. Um, there is rumors that it speeds up your shot. It doesn't. And dimer gives you like a, a way better increase than floor general does, believe it or not. Um, if unless you have, if you're playing with two play shots, one should rock one or the other, like I said. But um, floor general um, is very helpful to your teammates. But if that's if you're really trying to win games and your teammates are not known for hitting shots like that. But if they are, like I said, put on stop and go or downhill. Because stop and go um, is actually really good this year, believe it or not. You can just stop you just stop your feet so fast. Quick stopping is just amazing with it. I have so many clips with it. But downhill is this you you bro, I'm telling you, you're gonna move like the flash. You move like the flash going down the court, bro. But you guys know it's basically like last year, um handles for days. Um, I'll have that mat. The, the three max badges I would definitely have is, you know, quick first and handles for days. Bailout is not as good as I think it, I thought it was last year. 
Last year was overpowered, no cap. But if you're playing with that paint beast inside big, um, I would go something like this, low key, because you need to, you know, be able to peek for a shot, a fast shot. Um, try not to, you know, be contested. Stop and go with the bash for that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're playing with the paint beast, um, maybe on the threes. If your teammates are consistent, I would actually go something like this on the low, like. This badge setup right here is actually very good. I'd be lying to y'all boys if I say to y'all, Dimer is not a good badge. It's a really good badge, but like if your teammates are already consistent, you could just put on like silver to give them a little bit of a boost. But I would put um, Lob City Passer on for the Paint Beast if they slip. You know what I'm saying? That's meta right now. Paint Beast, um, a shooting guard, a guard that could score, and you like a perimeter lockdown or something like a wing guy. Um, also, Ankle Breaker Silver is actually Ankle Breaker is actually better on Silver than Bronze. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I don't need me personally. I don't need animations to score. But if you guys do, like would like animations to score, go put, go put on Ankle Breaker. Go take Lost City Passer on Bronze. Put on Ankle Breaker Silver. Matter of fact, I might actually go with this. I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, if you guys want to, you know what I'm saying, just put Ankle Breaker on Silver. If you need animations to score, go ahead. They're also good for clips. You know what I'm saying. Y'all about to see some ankles in a couple of videos. You feel me? But that's pretty much all the badges, honestly. Like, there's so there's so many playmaking badges you could run this year. It's crazy. But I'll, I'm guessing a lot of you might have 20. I went with 22 this year for the first time because I wanted more playmaking last year. I felt like I was kind of limited. I, I had like a bunch of team badges, but like I didn't have badges for myself. That's like, bro, like, like I literally used um, gold bailout, bronze unpluckable, and the rest um, were Hall of Fame floor general, dimer hails, and quick first. I wanted to you know have some clips here and there for ankle breaker floor. I mean, um, downhill to be faster, but you know, I had to sacrifice sometimes. It's all good though. It's all good because at the end of the day, um, you you made your build based on how you play. So my play style, I do playmaking or extra playmaking and do more on the court. But you guys know, unpluggable has really never been like the greatest bat. It's a Hall of Fame. I'm gonna get rid of it possible. There's no way that bronze unpluggable gets ripped in Hall um, Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it does. I haven't. I haven't really like compared the two. I'm plugging the best it could be. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. It's all good at the end of the day. I'm gonna show you guys my defensive. Um, because I'm a play shot. I don't have much. That's why I called it playmaking and shooting. These are defensive badges. Um, if I'm playing like sides of the paint beast when the play shots trying to like, use picks and everything, and to trying to hedge, I think that I don't dodger as much because it doesn't work that good on two. You're gonna need that pick dodge, bro. I'm telling you, because if they hit by if they hit by a screen, your center has to hedge high, like very high, and the paint beast just slips. There's no like guard. There's no like perimeter lockdown that can like you know stop the intercept like a passing lane. It's literally like you're dead if you're dead if you hit by a screen. So on twos, this is the playmaking or the defensive badge I run with. Um, Intimidator bronze just to get you know a little bit of intimidation. Intimidator. I don't know, man. A lot of people making some crazy shots, some crazy greens in my face. And maybe because of my wingspan, I get like a two shot contest. Like, it's just crazy. Come on, Ronnie. But I just go, I would rock um, Gold Pig Dodger because on twos, you're going to get killed by screens. If you can get around your screens, the guard can't really do much, especially if you're pressing up on them. And high key, centers are like the key of, or big men are like the key of defense. They like command the defense on threes and twos. Believe it or not, I run big men. I used to run big men last year. Like, I know that you were like called higher when you're supposed to play defense. You're not really relying on your play shot to lock up anybody, you know what I'm saying? If you are a play shot, if you had a like, I mean, yeah, you rely on him. But if you're like a um, play shot, you rely on defense. Center should be hedging for you when you get killed because, I mean, you would rather have the and get takeover, right? Or you'd rather have glass takeover against you than sharp. Their should be trying to, you know, hard. But that's, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I can do a comp story if you guys want play competitive players but these are my finishing badges right here y'all um i would either go cross key cross key because cross key score if you guys didn't know um it, it actually wasn't even talked about last year cross key score is one of the best badges for close mid ranges you know everybody be taking those bro like that's the best um badges for close mid ranges because um difficult a little bit i don't know how it merges but like cross key score as you can see boost his shot percentage for Layas moving around the paint. Those those close shots he be taking, those jump shots like under the rim are actually close shots. So and layups. So they're not really like I wouldn't even count them as mid range. If you had like a forty mid range, you could still green it. So it's definitely cross key score. It's definitely a finishing badge. So I go cross key score because you can get an uh, increase when you're moving around the basket. You're not even gonna go straight up on a paint beast. Come on. But you guys, it's about that time at for the end of the video, y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video so much. If you guys made it to this point. 
I love you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually enjoy the fact that I can inspire you. You know what I'm saying? I hope I hope I inspire you in some type of way, shape, or form. Let me know because I actually, like, that's my goal here on YouTube. I just want to inspire, bro. I want to show you guys it's possible. That's that's really my end goal in this not really, um, you know, money and everything. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and share to somebody that needs some badges. You know what I'm saying? They might be a little 50 or, you know, trying to get open. But dribble tutorial next, y'all. I got y'all because of the 25 likes. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video.